Morning guys, it is Saturday, May 20th. I'm trying to get an early start today because I've got some stuff I have to get done at the warehouse before I hit the yard sales. Basically there's a bunch of stuff I've got to sort through, see what goes on the website, what goes in the live auction, and I gotta head out for the yard sales probably by 6.30. So I'm gonna try to get about an hour of work done. It's five o'clock right now. And my dad's going with me again today, so I'm pretty excited about that. He brought me a lot of good luck last week, so I hope that's the case again today. So here's what I'm working with, basically. All of this stuff uh, needs to be sorted through and kind of figured out, you know, where it's going. The reason I got to do it today is the guys are coming in a little bit later. They're going to take photographs and log the stuff and do all that, so I'm trying to just sort it basically and, and get it prepped for them so they're not spending as much time doing unnecessary work. All right, it's 6.45, got a lot of stuff done at the warehouse. <clears throat> I feel like there's plenty of stuff prepped for the guys to get done when they come in. I am headed to pick up my dad and we're gonna have some of these sales. There's two community sales pretty close to each other that I really haven't been to very much. Uh, a lot of these sales, I just, every year, it's like the same sale, and it's the same people, and the same stuff, and just kind of get tired of it, want to switch it up a little bit, so hopefully we have some luck. Looks like Dad is... <laughs> Out here waiting and ready to go, itching to hit some garage sales. Playoff game. Yeah. yeah. So what'd you get for your car? Five thousand. Nice. So I've got plenty of cash. We got, <laughs> we got money to play with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've only got like four hundred on me, so I'll either go to the bank or I have I'll hit up Dad's ATM. I think I have five hundred on me. So yeah. Get stuck and don't have it with you. I can cover you. I of course didn't bring five thousand, <laughs> but I do have about five or six hundred. Heck, if it's like it was last weekend, we'll need. We'll need it. I know. Yeah. I know. You got my lucky shirt on again. So. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty far. I think it's that house, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess it is. It kind of looks like a garage yeah. sale. If that's it. You ain't got much. It says solid waste disposal. Huh? It says City Madeira solid waste disposal. Yeah, well, that's what it is. It's a big thing. All the stuff they drug out of that house. And uh, it's full of, it's full of garbage. <laughs> Nasty, too. <clears throat> that's got to be a rental property that's really been evicted. So, Dad and I just uh, stumbled upon an eviction. <laughs> uh, basically, the city threw all their shit out on the street and taped it for disposal and there was an old typewriter so I just grabbed it and threw it in the back of the truck weight bench couch so two people on the same street got evicted <laughs> and all their stuff just thrown out in the street there was a sign back there it said garage sale. Didn't say what time. I know. But so I wrote the street down. So okay. We circle back. What around. was the street? Osceola. Oh, I didn't have that on the list then. So that's one. There's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot that's not on the list, for right? Sure. So we just left the sale. Picked up a Roland D5 keyboard for five bucks. Uh, it sounds like 150 to 200 dollars, but it has a broken key. So I'm thinking I might only be able to get about 100 for it. Also, a guy beat me to a Game Boy, and as we're getting in our van, he comes up to me and he's like, hey, I'm one of your YouTube subscribers. I was like, that is so funny. Really nice guy, his name's Jason. I guess he looks for video games too, but yeah, there was a DS, or a, maybe it was an Advance that he beat me to. So yeah, good looking out, Jason. Just hit two sales that were right next to each other. God. A TRX suspension trainer for four dollars sells for seventy-five. 
Got this Guinness beanie for a dime. Have the tags on it. And now we're picking up Dad. All right, Dad, what'd you find? I found this coin bank. It's full of coins. I mean, and foreign coins. I think there's even a silver coin in there. 50 cents for it. It's like a little telephone booth coin bank. Coin bank alone yeah, is worth 50 sweet. cents, but there's some neat coins in there that I like to collect. Yeah, I got two Susan B. Anthony dollars out of that, plus several foreign coins to add to my collection. So I paid 50 cents, got two dollars back in U.S. coins, and a bunch of foreign coins. Nice. Just left a sale. I found a really nice cedar chest for 12 bucks, and Dad got a PlayStation 2 game for 50 cents. We just left a sale and Dad got some Pez dispensers. Presidential sets from 1933. Hold them up. There you go. It's 1969. Two sets of them. It's 50 really cents cool. each. Yeah. Um, I also got this Crystal Briar Horse. They're asking 20 but I got it for 15 And it's going for about 50 bucks on eBay. But the percentage selling isn't, isn't awesome. But I don't know. Might be a long tail item. Also found this wood truck that has a post office box built into the back of it for five bucks. Just picked up six name brand golf clubs, Taylor Made, Titleist, and Ping. Uh, paid forty bucks for all of them. All right, guys, I just found my most profitable item for the whole weekend, but I'm not going to show it yet. I will show it Sunday night on the reseller six pack show on the Garage Flips channel. Uh, it's at 7 p.m. Central. Dad is holding it up. This is the mystery box. The item is inside. I will show it tomorrow night, Sunday night, uh, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central is the time of the show. So please tune in and I'll see you guys there. Then I just left to sale. The guy said he had a bunch of res memorabilia he's gonna bring out. Uh, there's actually another sale across the street. So we're gonna go hit this one and then go back and see what he's got. Thank you, man. Not much, but... yeah. That uh, sign, the best yard sale, I'm not so sure about that. They didn't really have all yeah. that great of stuff. Although I did find a 1960s Coleman lantern in the box. Got uh, that and a cast iron skillet for 20. Wow. Went back to the guy's house that had the red stuff. Um, it was like two popple heads and he wanted like $40 each for him. So definitely couldn't do that. Although we did just leave a sale and found this neat old white kitchen cabinet for 20 bucks. Just picked up an old Radio Shack TRS-80 computer, or like a video game thing. I honestly didn't know what it was, but I looked it up. It seems like it's selling pretty well. I got a bunch of games with it too, and the printer and the manuals and paid 55 for it. Just got a Samsung Galaxy tablet. They had it powered up and everything. Also found an antique chiffon robe. It's right behind us. Really nice uh, cedar piece for 30. Just picked up a huge stack of Xbox 360 games. There's 18 total. I paid $15. No sports games either. It's like Gears of War, Dragon Age, Fable. So hopefully one or two might be, you know, worth like 10, 15 on eBay, and the rest I'll just put on the website. We finally found somebody with old video games. This little old lady was in her garage, asked if she had video games, and she pointed up and said, yeah, I've got these two here. Original NES in the box and N64 in the box. They both have all the styrofoam, everything. There's a few games in here. There's one game in there. She wanted 20 bucks for each. I didn't even try to haggle with her. I just paid her the 20 bucks for both of them. Huge, huge. This is definitely the best find of the big, day, I think. Find, right? She also had a bunch of Barbies and Light Brights and old toys kind of up by these games. And she sold me all those for five bucks each, too. So super excited about these. We just picked up some metal beer signs. Uh, also got three bobbleheads for two. We got two Volquezes and a Gomes. And Dad got a bar bar glass from the wood bar in Norwood but it's got an error on it it says no wood instead of Norwood <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
Two more NES games, five bucks. All right, we are done for today. We never even made it out of Madeira. There were so many sales in there to hit. Got a ton of stuff, video games, furniture, just a lot of good deals. Uh, really happy about that. You got any final words? Oh, well, we had a great day. We made some good bucks today. Good bucks. Some awesome finds. These new Nintendo systems still in the original box. Great find. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And make sure to check out the Reseller Six Pack Show on the Garage Flips channel Sunday, 7 to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. See you guys.